So I've already started my foundation. Um, I put on Garnier's BB cream using a stippling brush. Um, then for my um, clear matte powder, I'm using Vici's Derm Blend, which is really good. It doesn't let through any shine or anything. So I just use this powder puff to put it on. Oh, and I um to help it stay on longer, I'm using 17's Photo Flawless Primer, which I'm just testing out at the moment. So to start with, I'm using Urban Decay's um, Priming Potion, and I'm just putting this on with my ring finger. If you want to just put it on all round your eye. Then I'm using a flat brush. And my own MAC palette, um, I'm using Femme, which is by far my like most favourite eyeshadow by MAC. I'm just kind of crazy about it. It's just such a great base colour and for your tear duct, you can use it like for the day and then jazz it up for the night. I just, I love it so much. <laughs> so if you're just starting out um, getting MAC, I, I definitely recommend getting it, it's really versatile. Um, so I'm just putting it all over my lid and in the tear duct just to brighten your eyes. So next I'm using a number 17 trio, which is like uh, bronzy colours. I mean I love this trio, it's so useful, especially if you're kind of just going out for the day and need touch ups or anything, it's just got all the colours, it's very easy to use. Um, so I'm starting with the darkest colour, I'm using a pencil brush, so I'm just focusing it on the um, end of my eye and making like a V shape and just blending it in with my finger there. And then I'm going to add more and just keep blending it into the crease uh, to make the smoky dramatic effect uh, which is really pretty and the main thing that you really want to do is keep blending which I'm using a fluffy brush which is just better to get it more in the crease and to blend it more around your eye and things so you just want to keep doing that that's the main trick with the smoky eyes to keep adding and keep blending <laughs> use the lightest colour in the trio. I'm just going to go over the femme and just to brighten my eyes I'm going to place the highlight colour over my brow bone. This just catches the light. And I'll just touch up in my tear duct just to make sure the colour's still there. And so just to build the colours up a bit and to help them blend well all together, the lighter and the darker one, I'm just using the middle lightest colour in the middle. And just blending them all together. So now I'm using a angled brush and I'm taking a matte black and I'm going to dip it in there and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. So I'm just kind of, I find it easier doing little kind of strokes at a time and you can build up and up as much as you like. 
And of course you can smudge this out a bit to make it your eye even more smoky. And I'm also winging my eyeliner out. So I'm taking my angle brush again and I'm kind of just choosing a very um, bronzy colour and mixing it up with more of kind of a, a reddish brown. But you can make up or choose whatever colour you want. Maybe you want like a gold um, with some glitter or something for a bit more of a party look. Um, and I'm just using this under my, under my eyelid. Uh, then I'm using um, a mascara. This is from Rimmel and it's Lash Accelerator. <laughs> I really like this mascara. I use it a lot. Uh, then I'm using my Body Shop Mineralizing Bronzer. So I'm just placing this over my cheekbones and then with the rest just around my face just to give me a bit more of a tanned look and it has beautiful shimmer highlights through it as well so it's really nice bronzer then I'm just using a drugstore brush uh, it's quite bright it, well, it looks quite bright but I really like this brush um, it just gives a really nice rosy effect and I don't think it comes out too bright. Um, then I'm using like a rosy uh, lip liner to uh, line my lips before I use kind of a matching colour lipstick. Then I'm taking a Viva Glam from MAC and oh, I just love this lipstick as well. They're also great in this range um, and I'm just putting it on like the very middle of my lips um, it's a darker colour than the kind of like pinky rose colour before um, I just like the effect it kind of gives it's a really nice contrast and very kissable lips So then you're finished and this is this look complete so I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you check out my gypsy hair video.